Hey there, space fans. I'm Kurt, and you're watching the very first episode of Fun Space Facts with Kurt. These videos are my attempt at short and sweet and simple explanations about some possibly complex space topics. If you aren't currently living under a rock, you probably heard that NASA recently rolled their new giant moon rocket to the launch pad for a wet dress rehearsal prior to its first uncrewed test flight to the moon. So today's topic is, what exactly is a wet dress rehearsal? Well, before a brand new rocket design, and a brand new launch pad for that matter, are certified ready to go, they are normally put through a number of progressively more and more complex testing regimes. They're put through their paces on the ground before engineers have the confidence that everything will work properly on launch day. A wet dress rehearsal runs through the complete launch countdown of the rocket on the pad, including liquid propellant loading. That's why it's called a wet dress rehearsal, because it literally loads the liquid propellants on board the rocket. Often a wet dress rehearsal ends in a planned last minute abort before the engines are actually ignited. This scheme of going through the motions of an actual abort sequence has the added benefit of also testing the pad abort systems along with the propellant offload systems and procedures. The wet dress rehearsal also does a pretty good job of providing high fidelity hardware based training for the launch control team. It puts that team through most of the paces that they will experience on an actual launch day. And if a wet dress rehearsal isn't successful, then the launch team has found a problem with the rocket or with their launch countdown system or with their procedures that they weren't aware of. And that's good to catch and correct before the actual day of launch. If you're a super space nerd, you might enjoy following the progress of the nearly three day long Artemis One wet dress rehearsal, which is happening right now as I record this video. NASA's Exploration Ground Systems Twitter feed is live tweeting updates and status, and the KSC Newsroom YouTube channel is streaming a live camera view of the rocket on the pad. That's it for this episode of Fun Space Facts with Kurt. I hope you enjoyed it. Check back later for more episodes. Bye.